So today we're going to start with the plot of our story. We're going to write the beginning of our story. Once upon a time. The beginning of the story is the, the part where you absolutely introduce your characters and your setting and that is one of the most important parts to put your reader right into your story from the word go. Let's have a look at what we will be doing today. You will be doing one sheet of the long vowel digraph, the OA. Then we will look at the plot at the beginning of a story and how you do that. And then you'll start with your story mountain planner. You'll see it looks like a mountain and you're going to plan the beginning of your story. So let's have a look at what the plot of your story is all about. A plot consists of the beginning, the middle and the end of your story. And those three parts have to flow and fit together like puzzle pieces. The beginning is the part that introduces everything. The middle is your biggest bulk of your story, where the whole story happens, the build-up, the problem, and the resolution of the problem. And then your story has to end in an appropriate way. So what does a beginning look like? With your beginning, you have to get your reader interested in your story. And your beginning sets the stage. So what does that mean? You know when you go to the theatre and you go and watch a show or a play or a musical, the stage already has some things on it, like maybe a forest or a city scenery. So with setting the stage of your story, that means you tell the reader what is the setting, where's your story happening, who is playing in your story, and you also create a mood. You create the mood of, is you, um, are your story going to be a happy one or a sad one? Will your story be scary or would it be a story full of surprises? Nobody wants the beginning of a story to be boring because then you can know for sure nobody is going to want to read your story. So let's have a look at the features of the beginning of a story. What does it consist of? So the most important thing is that you have to start your story with a story opening sentence or line. The most classic one that we all know is Once Upon a Time. There are a few examples of um, opening lines that you can start your story with. It could be many years ago, early one day, uh, one sunny morning, once there was. Or your story can start um, in the setting immediately, in a land far away, on a lonely mountain, or in a gloomy cave. I'm going to have this on the slide so you can use it when you start writing your story. So you have to describe your setting using adjectives and um, adverbs. So your Whatever your place is, you have to use the appropriate describing words. And then also when you're going to add your characters, you can use adverbs because they will be doing things. Then describing your character, you're going to have to have names for them, a special name for your characters. Try and use creative names and not just ordinary everyday names if possible. Then you're going to try and use powerful verbs meaning some interesting uh, doing words and you can use a dictionary for that. Then you're going to use amazing adjectives. So we have a adjective word mat in your worksheet pack and of course I've also added those wow adjectives in the previous slide that you can use. 
Finally, you are going to not only describe what your character looked like, but uh, you're going to describe your character's feelings during the beginning of your story. I'm going to show you an example of a beginning of a story. So let's have a look at this one, the servant and the prince. Once upon a time in Mongolia, they lived a cruel prince. He was very wicked and unkind to his servant. The servant was very wise and hardworking. Every day the prince got pleasure out of insulting his servant. Insulting means that he is not giving him compliments, absolutely the opposite. He is saying nasty things to his servant. He would loudly shout horrible remarks without his servant ever doing anything wrong. So let's have a look over there. Our beginning has a title, so each story has to have a title, the name of your story. And then this beginning has introduced the characters and the setting. So we have our sentence opener, Once Upon a Time. We have our setting, which is Mongolia, that is a country. And you have your character. And immediately in the first sentence, you know that the prince was cruel. He was not kind or the kind of lovely princess we read about in stories. He was wicked and he was unkind. And then you have your other character, your good character, which was a wise and hard working servant. And immediately you see what the mood of the story is because it is a cruel prince being insulting and being nasty to the servant. And the servant is innocent, never doing anything wrong. You can see I have highlighted all the adjectives in red and I've highlighted the adverbs describing the verbs in blue. So here follows an example of another beginning of a story. The Ant and the Grasshopper One summer afternoon, a cheerful grasshopper was hopping about in a green cornfield. He was singing merrily and enjoying the day. On his way, he met Ant, who was struggling to take a huge grain of corn to his nest. Okay, there you see the title, very clear. Then the beginning of the story, introducing our characters and the setting. You can immediately see there's a grasshopper and he is in a cornfield. And then the, the second character, the ant, is also introduced in this beginning section. And then, of course, the adjectives are highlighted in red. The describing words that makes your story more interesting. And then the adverbs are in purple. So we have cheerful, green cornfield, not just any field. It's a green and a cornfield and a huge grain of corn. And then merrily is your adverb, which tells us how he is singing. Let's have a look at the task for today. You're going to plan and then write the beginning of your story. In your worksheet pack, you will see the Story Mountain Planner. That's where you're going to start. And you're only going to do the beginning today. So take five minutes of your time, because it's pretty much just going to take you five minutes, and decide what your beginning, beginning is going to be like. So that means you take your setting planner that you've done previously two weeks ago, and you take your character planning that you've done right now. And then you just write your key words down there. Only words, guys, no sentences. So you write brave uh, prince, uh, cruel dragon, dark forest, and maybe if you want to add some emotions or feelings, you can add that as well. So literally just the key words of what you want to talk about at the beginning of your story. Then when you've done the planning, you will see on page nine of your worksheet pack, there is 
a paper that looks like that. There's a block for the title of your story and then there's a big open white space and that's where you can draw the beginning of your story, your characters and your setting um, of how your story will start. And then those lines are meant for the beginning of your story. You're going to start with an opening sentence like once upon a time or a long time ago or any of those words that's on the previous slide. And then you're going to write the beginning of your story. Remember to keep it interesting so that your reader would want to read more. You please also need to do your long vowel um, OA worksheet. That's page five. And then, of course, the Internet uh, website over there where you can read stories. You can pick any story you like to read. Good luck, guys. Enjoy planning the beginning of your story.